Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo in the United Kingdom, practicing psychiatrist, presenting to you this overview on EPSE Masterclass in Psychiatry Medicine. It's also EPSE's abbreviated form of extrapyramidal side effects. And uh, the outline will be as follows. I'll be covering the drug history that one needs to take and the symptom history and examination, which will be in four key areas when one is examining a patient suspected with EPSC. The drug history is important, especially in antipsychotic medication and some antidepressants. It's very important. The symptoms history is important and inquire about whether there is akathisia, whether there is bradykinesia, the slowing of movements, tardive dyskinesia, any stiffness, are there any spasms or shakiness, is there hypersalivation, is there dystonia, all these are important in the symptom history. The next level then is the examination, which are in four areas. First is the hands and upper limbs where the patient is sitting, examined for acathesia, any tremors, bradykinesia, tone, reflex. And the second key area in the examination is the mouth look for tremors, any dystonia, and tardive dyskinesia, the tongue protruding. The third area to look for in examination is where the patient is now standing. Look for dystonia of the trunk and muscles. Now the fourth is now the patient begin to walk. So the gates, look for festinant gates, as somebody would describe as if they are chasing their center of gravity and the gate will be unsteady in classical cases. So thank you very much for your attention in this important topic and I wish you all the best in your studies and in your career. And if you like it, you can click on the subscribe and you'll get the next in this series. Thank you.